ever wondered what lurks behind MOD doors? Well, we're here at BAE Systems, the guys that provide some of the equipment that the MOD uses like this, the amazing Typhoon jet behind me. We've been here all day looking at some amazing military top secret tech, and we thought we'd give you a sneak peek. Makers of all things military, BAE Systems has created the ultimate simulator for Lockheed Martin's F-35 Lightning II, the next-gen stealth fighter that will be the RAF's main weapon within the next decade, and we at T3 will let into the defense inner circle for a closer look. The simulator uses six projectors to produce a panoramic 180-degree screen, helping pilots perfect such essentials as landing on a carrier deck in a storm, dogfighting and nailing the ultimate loop. We went along to the simulator's base in Wharton, Lancashire for a test drive and managed to shoot down six typhoons in a dogfight and bomb a warehouse, although we must admit it did take us a few tries. This happened with a scooter. No one told me how to stop. It's not only the fighter simulator that we were privy to, we also glimpsed the next-gen fighter helmet. This revolutionary helmet-mounted display system, for those in the know, HDMS, overlays flight and combat info onto the pilot's view. The plane is festooned with sensors that track the movement of enemy planes, transmitting positional info into the helmet. As a result, the pilot can lock on weapons just by looking at an enemy plane. The helmet gives a pilot a 21 to 1 shot advantage over those who don't have an HMDS. And despite all that tech, it only weighs 100 grams more than the standard helmet at 1.9 kilograms. Pretty impressive. For all the latest tech news, reviews and features, keep it locked to T3.com.